92 Green Z34 here, and I have to review for you Red's Apple Ale, R-E-D-D-S, or Apple Ale, 5% ABV, uh, ale with natural apple flavor, and caramel color. Um, it, this basically is a metallic-looking apple. It says, uh, an exceptionally crisp apple ale up top with a little R right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says reds around the border. Um, the top is where most of the information is. Exceptionally crisp, crisp apple ale R, uh, government warning. Um, <clears throat> over here it just has your information, barcode. So right here it's beer. Uh -huh. There's an R. Again. Um, and that is it. This is a very generic bottle. I mean, that is that's all you get. Um, color is a really light straw color. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, Logan, he's he's going to be drinking with me. He's drinking a um, Mike's um, Heart Smashed Apple Cider. Um, but he's going to hold the camera for a moment as I crack this baby open. Decent pop. Um, now the smell of this one is a, a red apple, like a, uh, for example, if you actually have ever been around an apple tree and the apples have fallen off the tree and it starts to have that slightly fermenting smell in the air, it's not bad, it's just a, it's really a sweet apple smell, you know, and that's, fruit flies start to get thick and whatnot, kind of icky, but the smell is still nice, it's a good smell. So, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's the smell of the stuff. It's a very nice smell. It's a sweet, kind of uh, a sugary smell. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's tip her back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> anyway, um, flavor of it is. Uh, is a sweet red apple flavor. Um, it kind of reminds me of an 806 or perhaps an amber uh, woodchuck, but it is more apple -y. It's not as hardcore. It's not so overbearing. Um, now, there is a bit of a beerness to this thing, but it's a very, very mild beer. It's not very powerful beer flavor. It is it is apple-y, and I would, I would lay back on apple over anything, anytime. Um, if you're interested in getting into beer, and you know you're okay with apple, and, and for example, if you've experimented, experimented with apple ciders, and you want to get it more and more into beer, this would be a great crossover. Even if you want to just go straight from not being much of a beer drinker at all to a beer drinker, this would be a great entry beer because it is so much apple, you know, that it uh, it pretty much cancels anything negative about a beer. So. Uh, it's it's very good. It's very good. Pip, cheerio. <sighs> anyway, uh, it does have decent carbonation, as you may have noticed. Um, it's very refreshing. Um, now, when I take this over a hard cider, is a good question. It depends on what I'm after. If I am in the night for or mood for drinking, um, it still kind of depends. But if I'm if I'm in the drinking mood, if I would, if I had beer and I'd drink it, and I just want a beer to drink that is scrumptious, then yes, I would rather have this. Now, if I was trying to refresh myself, like if I wanted a, a beverage to you know quench my thirst, or if I wanted a beverage to eat with food, then I would have to choose the cider over this. But as it sits, it's very good. Um, I recommend it, and uh, pretty much includes my video. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a nice day.